for some practical homemaking around the house as we find beauty and excellence in the mundane. Hello, dear friends, and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. While I change the boys' bedding, a pretty mundane activity, let me tell you a story about an unusual occurrence that recently happened to me. I went to pick up my kids from an after-school activity. I drive a hybrid car, and just like I always do, I unplugged the car, closed the charging port, and drove off. I picked up the kids, we got some dinner, and drove home. When I turned the car off, I went through the same motion I always go through. I got the charging cable and opened the port in the side of my car to plug it in. But this time, something unusual happened. As I opened the port, a butterfly flew out. Yes, a butterfly flew out of the charging port of my car. It flew frantically into my face, indignantly, as if to say, why on earth did you trap me in there for a whole hour? I screamed because a butterfly was the last thing I ever expected to fly out of that little door in the car, and the kids were amazed. After the butterfly and I collected ourselves, I sat marveling, realizing what an unusual event just occurred. I even wondered if that was the first time in history a butterfly flew out of a charging port door. <laughs> I'm sure there have been spiders, ants, mosquitoes, flies, but butterflies? Hmm. It was a moment that represented a lot for me. A charging port in the side of a car is a pretty mundane thing, not very special, not something I would ever think twice about, but when a magnificent creation like a butterfly comes out of it, I am wont to ponder the beauty and mysteries of life. Where can I find beauty and excellence in the mundane? How can I appreciate the specialness back to the bedding. <laughs> Even though it's the end of the day and I'm quite tired but still changing the bedding, I can appreciate that my son is making me laugh and smile. That right there is special indeed. I've been spending a lot of time in the garden and enjoying cooking with the herbs that I've planted. When I'm out here, it's a good time for me to meditate on the specialness of everyday life. I think of the butterfly that flew out of the charging port or the way my children can make me laugh when I'm feeling tired, or how something will just make me pause and I'll get a revelation. Agatha Christie said, the best time to plan a book is while you're doing the dishes. <laughs> There's something about quiet, mundane activities that holds space for the divine. Do you see that too? I seem to get this most when I'm out in the garden. My daughter and I made a Texas sheet cake to bring to a family gathering. I've shared this recipe on the channel before, so I'll find it and link it down below. The creation of a cake is such a meditative process. I love mixing the ingredients together, frosting it, and sharing it with people I love. Even more thrilling is seeing my children embrace the process. I love baking with my daughter, She's already a better baker than I am. We enjoyed this cake with a scoop of vanilla ice cream and black coffee at my sister's house.
share a healthier version of the classic chicken curry salad recipe. I love chicken curry salad, and typically it's made with a lot of mayonnaise, which is a very good <laughs> rendition, traditional. But I've been experimenting, and I found a delicious way to make it with Greek yogurt. I begin by shredding about three carrots. I just do this with the cheese grater. I also chop up some celery and red grapes. The day before, I roasted some chicken breast with olive oil, salt, and pepper, so I'm putting those in the KitchenAid mixer to shred the chicken easily. You could also shred it with two forks. And now to make the sauce. I combine whole fat Greek yogurt in a bowl along with some curry powder, fresh lemon juice, honey, salt, and pepper. I mix that together and then make sure everything tastes good. I decided to add a bit more curry powder and honey and now it's perfect. Now to this I'm adding some herbs from the garden, scallions, dill, and parsley. To a large bowl, I add the shredded chicken, carrot, celery, grapes, and some dried cranberries that will add a nice tanginess. And then the curry yogurt sauce. I mix this all until it's well combined. To serve, I place down a bed of spinach, and then I like to put the salad in a ramekin to give it a good shape on the plate. I top this with more dried cranberries, and we now have a delicious, high-protein lunch that tastes so good. I hope you enjoy this recipe. do some laundry but first I want to clip a rose from the garden. The roses are all about to come in. I've been eyeing them keenly. This pink rose is so aromatic. Talk about excellence in the mundane. One sniff of this glorious flower and I'm transported to a beautiful and exotic space through its intoxicating scent. I'm going to display it on the entryway table next to this candle that my mother-in-law made me. She hand makes candles for her friends and family, and this one has the scent of Rose Otto. I'll be transported by roses every time I walk through my hallway now. Time to do the laundry, and while I do it, I'll look for excellence, I'll look for beauty, for the divine is hiding everywhere, if you'll only look. I'd like to take a minute to share the Sheik Society channel membership group for the Daily Connoisseur. We have so much fun in the Sheik Society. I do one vodcast episode every Friday and once a month we get to hang out on a live Zoom call. We also have a pen pal program that is optional if you join the Sheik Society. So not everyone in channel memberships is in the pen pal program, but there are over 1,200 of you writing letters to each other around the world, which is pretty cool. Membership is only $1.99 a month, and there are also upper tiers who get a monthly mention in a video like you're seeing here. If you're interested in joining our channel memberships, I will leave a link down below. 
And now I'd like to share the elegant connoisseurs with you. They are the top tier in the chic society. The 90 day memoir book available now from Alan Watt and the LA Writers Lab. Jenny Williams from Carrot Top Paper Shop. Elaine Brisebois, certified nutritionist and women's weight loss coach. Ashley Buffa, Freedom Mom's Smart Kids Chore System. Guy Blaze, author of Love Like the French, a guide to better romance and relationships. Dr. Kate Philbin, transpersonal psychologist and professionally certified life and executive coach. Carrie Van Hooser, author of Tis the Season for Poetry. Louise Bromhead, psychologist author of Illness Recovery Wellbeing. Macondo Forever, Woven Placemats. Teresa Maples from Self Care Routine Cards. Ellen Scottish Shortbread. Stern Brothers Custom Design and Fine Jewelry. And thank you to the following Catherine Ray, Anne Marie Ramsey, Ashley Diaz, Jenny Candelaria, Jet Rally Heron, Gina K. Henry, Juliette Keeler Lebian, Karen Lynn Interior Design, Linda Eckloff, Maria Condor, and Moonshadow Welsh Ponies. Thank you for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur. I'd love to know how you see excellence in the mundane. Let us know your stories in the comments. Keep calm and remain classy, and I'll see you in the next video. Love, Jennifer.